Let's take a look at Hugging Face, the GitHub of large language models. Hugging Face is a company and also a community of open source ML projects, most famous for NLP. Its hub hosts models, datasets, and spaces for demos and code. These are easy to download under different licenses. There are also a number of libraries it provides. The datasets library provides ways to download data from the hub. Transformers makes it easy to work with pipelines, tokenizers, models, these core components of NLP, and to download pre-trained ones from the hub. Then evaluate is what it sounds like. On the right, you can see that the popularity of Transformers has really been rocketing up in the last couple of years based on Stack Overflow questions. I'd argue that the reason is Hugging Face offers very simple APIs, but under the hood, they have a ton of power because they're using deep learning libraries like PyTorch, TensorFlow, and JAX. Let's take a look at Transformers first. What does a pipeline look like? Here we're back to our summarization problem. Article on the left, summary on the right, and the LLM in the middle. Using Transformers, I can simply import the pipeline class Say, I want a default summarization pipeline and throw my article at it, and I'm done. Under the hood, it's picking a default LLM for me, configuring it, and trying to do the right thing. In general, though, we'd want to configure it further ourselves. So let's open up the pipeline. Here are common components it might have. That raw input might go through something called prompt construction. We'll talk more about prompts a little later in the module. For now, just know that some LLMs, not all, require further instructions beyond the raw user input. For summarization, it might be as simple as prepending summarize colon to that article. That'll then go through a tokenizer, which will encode the text as numbers, which is what our model, the LLM, will expect. The model outputs an encoded summary, and the tokenizer, the same tokenizer, decodes that summary. I'll also note that this slide glosses over a bit potential pre and post processing, which might happen in the pipeline, but it gives the key components. Looking at the tokenizer a little bit more closely, we can see that in the bottom left, it outputs that encoded data as input IDs, which is the actual encoded text, and then in this attention mask, we're not going to talk much about detention in this course. Suffice to say for now, it is metadata describing uh, the text which is output as input IDs, and you need to pass it along to the model which expects this metadata. On the right, you can see us using this auto tokenizer class. This is one of multiple auto classes that Transformers offers which sort of does the right thing when you give it the name of a model or tokenizer that you want to load. Given that tokenizer, we can pass in the articles. And then here's an example of some configurations you might specify. Max length, whether or not to pad, whether or not to truncate the input. These are all around forcing variable length input text into fixed length tensors, which the LLM will expect. You're going to adjust these based on the model you pick and also the task. At the bottom, return tensors is just saying we're using PyTorch. Next comes the model. We're going to pass in the input IDs and attention mask and get encoded output. On the right, you can see us using another one of these auto classes, this time for sequence to sequence language models. We won't go into a ton of detail about the different classes of language models here, but this is essentially saying a variable length sequence of text, like article, being transformed into a variable length sequence of text, like our summary. Give it the model name, it loads the right model for us, and then we can pass in input IDs, attention mask. Here I'll note that a little more detail about the metadata. This is where you, you recall the tokenizer, we were specifying some parameters to handle variable length inputs. This is the metadata that will help the model handle those variable lengths. Next come a few inference and output parameters. NumBeams, which we'll explore more when we get to coding, is saying I want to do beam search to generate the output text. There are a number of ways to do inference, and this is one of them. And then min and max length are saying 
I want between 5 and 40 tokens in my output summary. This is going to be adjusted, of course, to your requirements for the task. That's enough about transformers, so let's say a word about datasets. The library offers one-line APIs for loading and sharing datasets. We'll talk about NLP, but there's also audio and vision. The load dataset API not only lets you specify the dataset name, but also a version number. That can be valuable for maintainability of code. These datasets are hosted in the Hugging Face Hub, and that lets you and the UI filter by things like task, size, license, language, and so forth, and also find related models, which can be very useful. This has been a whirlwind tour of the Hugging Face libraries and tools. Next, we're going to get into the task of selecting the right model.